Have you considered these four challenges when trying to create a group coaching program? Wait, wait, let's backtrack. Are you a coach who's considering launching a one-to-many offer, but you're not sure whether the timing is right or whether you can pull it off? This video is for you. Most coaches start their business working one-to-one -one with clients. And this is a great thing to do because it allows you to learn a lot about your ideal client, to find out what their similar struggles are, you know, and how to create a system of how you help them. There's a lot of insight that can be gained by working one-to-one -one with clients over a period of time. But at some point, you're gonna think about scaling and you cannot scale a private coaching business. And there's different ways that you can scale and creating a group coaching program is one of them. But you can also create a course or a membership model. Again, there are many options to leverage your time. And from my experience, the easiest and fastest and most profitable way to scale a coaching business is through a group coaching program. And if you're curious why, I've done a lot of videos around this but I will say, just look at simple math. What's easier, selling 10 people into a $15,000 program to generate 150,000 in revenue or trying to sell $150,000 worth of courses? I promise you that the first scenario is much easier. So what are some of the things you need to consider before you create a group coaching program? You'll need to consider things like what the actual offer is, meaning what are they gonna get when they join your program? You're gonna need to understand how you're going to deliver in a group setting and more. We're gonna to dive into all of that in this video, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jessica Yarbrough, top business strategist and coaches and consultants come to me to sell and scale ultra high end. In fact, one of the big things I help my clients do is to build a high end group coaching program so that they have a one to many solution that will allow them to scale. I talk a lot about this and more on this channel. So if those topics interest you, be sure to hit subscribe. So what are four things you need to consider before creating a group coaching program? Let's dive in. Number one, your time. The first thing you need to consider before creating a group coaching program is your time. If you are maxed out time-wise and you can either, you can't take on any more private coaching clients or you don't want to take on any more private coaching clients, then a group coaching program could be a great solution for you. And what I mean by this is you may have a number in your mind of how many one-to-one -one clients you want. And if you go beyond that number, you can feel your energy drop. And you know that you're not bringing your best to those clients. That's not a good energy exchange for money. So if you're maxed out on one-to-one -one clients, then it's time to launch a group coaching program. The thing about launching a group coaching program is it can actually give you your time back. So instead of saying having 10 different one-to-one -one coaching calls in one week, you can put 10 people into one group coaching call. You've just gone from 10 hours of calls to say one 60 minute or 90 minute call, however you structure your program. There are so many benefits to your clients for experiencing you in a group setting. It will make you a better coach. It will give them a more well-rounded experience. I actually dove deep into this topic in my video on seven reasons why you need a group coaching program. If you haven't watched that video, be sure to do so. I'll, I'll drop the link in the comments below. Number two, your offer. The second thing you need to consider before creating a group coaching program is your offer. And this includes everything from the who to the how to the what that's involved with your offer. You need to understand who's gonna buy this group coaching program. You need to identify how you're gonna help them get results, and you need to identify what are all the things that you're gonna include as part of your group coaching offer. Once you've identified the who, this means you should be able to speak to this person through your messaging and position your program as something they should buy. Once you put together a, the how, a solution, this means you have a clear roadmap for working with your clients in this one-to-many or group setting. And you have clear outcomes of what participants will be able to achieve in the program. Once you have identified all the things that you're including, this means that you have a stack of deliverables and have clearly defined everything they're gonna get from the number of calls, to the length of those calls, to the types of training, to the types of resources that you're gonna provide, to the types of additional support that you're gonna offer. And this can be very diverse. I've seen coaching programs put their offers together in many different ways. And it's important that you not only set up your students up for success in terms of empowering them with all the support that they need to succeed, but also that you create an offer that is in alignment with how you want to show up and serve your clients. By the way, if you're curious how we help one coach put together a high ticket group coaching program and scale it to seven figures, be sure to download the case study. The information is 
down below this video. Number three, your delivery. The third thing you wanna consider before creating a group coaching program is your actual delivery. Of course, part of creating a great coaching group coaching program is understanding how to structure your offer in terms of support. Clearly knowing, and again, how many calls they're gonna get and what types of access to you they're gonna have, what types of training they're gonna get, all of those are part of your offer. And that's great because you're gonna to need to know those things to be effective at selling your group coaching program. However, you also need to consider what your back back-end support looks like internally for delivering your program. One of the more challenging parts of running a group coaching program is managing all the moving parts. You need to know how you're gonna manage the schedule of calls, how you're gonna communicate with your clients, whether that's in a group or email or Slack or some combo of both. If you have training provided, you need to decide how you're gonna deliver that training. Is it gonna be delivered live? Do you have a membership site, et cetera? When clients need support, you need to consider how are you going to provide that support? And again, this goes back to communication, how you're communicating with your clients and how they're getting information to you and questions for you to answer. If you're running an intimate group and it's your first one, oftentimes the business owner will do this themselves. But if you wanna grow a group coaching program and if you have a robust offer that includes many different things, it's likely that you're gonna to need to bring in someone to support to help you manage the group. It may seem easy to do, but in fact, when you actually run it, you're gonna see just how challenging it can be to say, handle, let's just take one thing, communications, for example. Let's say you run a group, of, a group program and it's small, you've got 20 people in it, and you have a call happening on Wednesday. Well, two of the people won't be able to get into the Zoom room, even if you have sent the link and it's in the invite. Believe me, I've seen it happen. Or let's say that you offer a few one-to-one -one sessions included in your group. I guarantee you people are gonna need to reschedule. And then there's going to need to be communication around that. You'll have people who have trouble accessing your support. You'll have people who can't get into the membership site. You'll have people who access the training, but they're still confused about something and they need you to record a Loom video. Again, this is why when it comes to creating a group program, it's fine if you're starting out small and doing it yourself because it's going to allow you to learn a lot about your clients and to start creating processes. But once you wanna scale up, having a dedicated support person for the program is gonna be key. Number four, your value ladder. The fourth thing you wanna consider before creating a group coaching program is something that a lot of coaches don't consider, and that is, do you want to go down your value ladder when you can go up? And let me, let me explain what I mean by that. If you have a one-to-one -one coaching program that is say 25,000 and your thought is I want to scale a group coaching program and charge 10,000, you know, that's one option. That's called going down your value ladder. You're offering something that is more accessible because the cost is lower and it will allow people to come in that maybe couldn't afford the 25,000, but that's not your only option. Sometimes you can go up your value ladder and still have a one-to-many offer. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're an executive coach and you're thinking about offering a one-to-many program. So you're considering, hey, I'm gonna go down my value ladder and I'm gonna offer a 10K or 15K group coaching program. In fact, there are leadership and executive experts that have programs like that, but that's only one option. Another option you could do is go up your value ladder and still offer a one-to-many program by selling your services to a group of individuals at a single company for six figures. I've helped a lot of my clients do this successfully. Landing six-figure contracts at companies is very appealing. Why? Because, well, it's a lot of money and you're able to still scale your time because you're able to get, to, to get and work with a group of people going through a process at once. The difference is rather than saying having 10 different individuals you know, from 10 different companies join a group program, your contract and engagement is with one company and they put 10 people from the same company in your program. There are pros and cons to both strategies and it's important that you understand what options are available to you and what is best suited in terms of both opportunity and your preferred method of growing your business. You can do both, but you can't do both well at the same time. Again, this is where it helps to work with an expert strategist who can help you understand which strategy is best for your business right now. This wraps up my video on four things to consider before creating your group coaching program. If you've gone through this video and you're ready to create a group coaching program, know that you can create a high ticket group coaching program. And again, this is something that I help my clients do. Click the link down below to schedule a call and learn more. Until next time.